the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, and in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Father, who by sending into the world 
the word of truth, and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, the Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, is slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Glory and Praise Forever. Glory and Praise Forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, Praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. Praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your home upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Glory to the Father, to the Son. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. And whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon po sa atin pong lahat. Magandang hapon po, Father. Ngayon po ay kapistahan ng Badalasan Tatlo at tuwing ipinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ito ay ating inaalaala at muling binabalikan ang misteryo ng ating pananampalataya na kung saan ang ating pananampalataya ay sa araw-araw nating ipinapahayag ay nandoon palagi ang misteryo ng Banal na Santatlo. Sa pagsamba ng simbahan, all prayers in the Church begin in the name of the Holy Trinity and end glorifying the Trinity. All sacraments are administered. We are baptized, confirmed, anointed, our sins are forgiven, our marriage is blessed, and our bishops, priests, and deacons are ordained in the name of the Holy Trinity. When the church bell rings thrice daily, they remind us to give glory to the Holy Trinity for the incarnation of Jesus and His resurrection of all of us. And we bless ourselves, and the priest blesses us in the name of the Holy Trinity. Kaya sa atin pong pananampalataya, sa ating buhay bilang mga Kristiyano, palagi nating isinasabuhay ang diwa ng Banal na Santatlo sa lahat ng gawaing pagsamba ng atin pong inang simbahan. In the New Testament, gives clear teaching on the Holy Trinity. At the Annunciation, God the Father sends His angel to Mary. God the Holy Spirit comes upon her, and the power of the Most High overshadows her, and God the Son incarnate in her womb. Nandun ka agad yung presensya ng Banal na Santatlo. Sa simula pa lamang, ang mahal na ina ay binati ng Anghel ng Diyos. Ang ama. At siya ay pinabanal ng Banal na Espiritu. Lulukuban ka ng Banal na Espiritu. Kaya't banal ang ipanganganak mo. At nang tanggapin ni Maria itong pagiging ina ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ay nagsimulang maglihi ang mahal na ina. Kaya nandun ka agad yung presensya ng misteryo ng banal na santatlo. Pangalawa, at the baptism of Jesus When the Son receives baptism from John the Baptist, the Father's voice is heard and the Holy Spirit appears as a dove and descends upon Jesus. Nandun pa rin ang presensya ng Bananasang Tatlo. Si Kristo na anak ng Diyos, mayroong tinig na nanggaling sa langit, ito ang minamahal kong anak na lubos kong kinalulugdan at bumaba sa kanya na parang anyo ng kalapati ang banal na spirito number three at the ascension 
Jesus gives the missionary command to his disciples to baptize those who believe in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And number four, in John's Gospel, chapter 15 to 18, we have a detailed account of Jesus' teaching of the rule of each person of the Holy Trinity. God the Father creates and provides for His creation. God the Son redeems us and reconciles us with God. And God the Holy Spirit sanctifies us, He strengthens us, and teaches us to guide us to God. Kaya mga kapatid, gayon pong kapestahan ito ng balal na santatlo. Ipinapaalaala sa atin ang misteryo ng ating pananampalataya. Ito ay tatak natin. Paano mo malalaman na ang isang bagay ay totoo at tunay? Ito'y sa pamamagitan ng kanyang tatak. Naalaala ko ho yung ibang sekta, inalait po ang ating pag-antanda ng krus. At ang sabi niya ho, bakit kayo'y nag-aantanda? Wala namang ganyan-ganyan. Kapag pinagsabihan po kayo ng ganun, ito po ang asagot ninyo. Sapagkat ang antanda ng krus, ang aming tatak. Sila, wala silang tatak. Tayo, mayroon tayong tatak. At ang tatak natin ay ang Ama, ang Anak, at ang Espiritu Santo. Kaya ang ganda kong maisa buhay lagi, ano ho? Malalaman natin kung sino ang isang Kristiyano. Malalaman natin kung sino ang kabahagi ng ating pananampalataya kapag siya ay nagaantanda ng krus at ipinapahayag niya ang kanyang pananampalataya sa Ama, sa Anak, at sa Espiritu Santo. Kaya muli, ngayong kapistahan ng Bananasang Tatlo, ipinapaalaala sa atin ang misteryo ng ating pananampalataya. Pagpalain tayo ng poong may kapal. Amen. Please all stand. I believe in God, the, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in I Jesus Christ, His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, crucified, died, and, and was buried. buried. He descended into me. hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Having received from the Blessed Trinity the gifts of life and faith, let us approach the throne of glory, leading for the needs of all mankind. Let our response be, O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For the entire Catholic Church, God's family on earth, may she proclaim with your teaching and make present with your initiatives the love of the Blessed Trinity for all human beings. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, and our parish priests, may they be constantly strengthened in the fulfillment of their pastoral duty and see the fruits of their dedication. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. 
for all the members of the different Christian denominations, may their common faith in the Blessed Trinity bring them to live in unity, cooperation, and peace. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For all families in our parish, may the harmony and love that bind together the three divine persons be reflected in the mutual relationships of all the members of each family. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. For ourselves and all the people dear to us, may we always be aware of the presence of the Blessed Trinity in our midst and derive from it joy, courage, and inspiration. Let us pray. O Most Holy Trinity, hear us. Eternal Triune God, you created us in your image and gave us new life in the sacrament of baptism. Fill our lives with your presence and welcome us into your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and may it make of us an eternal offering to you. We ask this. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of in the name of 
دلون او سانا او سانا able to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, in memory of me. The mystery of hate. We proclaim your death, O Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. I receive your command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Thy kingdom come, thy will. 
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Mom. 
collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of Saint Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy dignity and undivided unity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sabay-sabay po nating dasalin ang panalangin ng pagtitiwala kay Santo Padre Pio. Padre Pio, taga Pietrel, China. Mongheng Banal, pintakasing santo ng milenyong kasalukuyan. Gabay, Gabay namin sa pagtahak sa landasing makalangit. Takbuhan sa pangangailangan, huwara ng pagtitiis. Sa iyo namin inilalapit aming mga kagipitan. Sa iyo po ibinibidin kalusugan at kabuhayan. Di man karapat dapat, kami, kami po ay pagbigyan. Bendisyonan at basbasan, maging ganap sa buhay. Lumayo na wa kami, umiwas sa kasalanan. Lumapit lagi sa Diyos, maging matatag at matibay. Sa mabuting balita ng pagliligtas, turuan mo kami na wa. Sa tuwi na ay makinig, magnilay at sumampalataya. Amin pong pakiusap itong mga kahilingan. Puso ay nagsisisi, nagtitikang taimtiman. Di na muling magkasala, sunod lagi sa Diyos amang, kaisa ng Espiritu at ni Jesus na tagapamagitan. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Mga patalastas, una sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalwa, kung inyo pong mapapansin ay sira na at kailangan ng ipagawa ang extension area sa gilid ng main church. Atin din pong isinasagawa na ang minor repairs ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary. Muli po kaming nananawagan sa mga may mabubuting puso na nagnanais maging bahagi ng pagawaing ito. Mangyari makipag-ugnayan po kayo sa opisina ng parokya o sa pamisahan para sa inyong mga tulong at donasyon. Ikatlo, mga kapiyo, ang osteria ay lugar dito sa pambansang Dambana na maaaring puntahan at kainan ng mga bumibisita dito. Itinayo natin ito bilang bahagi ng updated complementary norms to the 1983 Canon Law and requirement of the CBCP as a national shrine. Kaugnay nito ay mahigpit tayong pinapaalalahanan sa ating panawagang Clego or Clean As You Go. Sa lahat ng lugar sa loob ng pambansang Dambana, lalo't higit sa Osteria. Ipinapaalam din po sa lahat na gamit ang ating main arc entrance, tayo ay may mga malalaking free parking dito sa loob ng pambansang Dambana. Ikaapat, mga kapiyo. Palagi po nating tandaan na ang pambansang Dambana ay isang sagrado at banal na lugar. Mangyaring sa pagbisita natin dito ay sundin ang mga tama at angkop na kasuotan, tanda ng pagsamba at pagbibigay galang sa ating Panginoon. Ikalima, isang patalastas. Bahagi ng layuning pagpapaunlad or ad experimentum ng parokya at pambansang dambana ni Santo Padre Pio, simula po ngayong Hunyo ay sa kapilya na ng San Pedro, ipagdiriwang ang mga pamparokyang gawaing sakramental tulad ng binyag, kasal at mga katulad nito. Gayunpaman, ang inyong makikitang mga pagdiriwang ng kasal dito sa main church ngayong mga buwan ng Hunyo at Hulyo ay mga naka-reserve na schedules nitong nagdaang taon pa at nagkataong napasabay naman sa pagsasaayos ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary. 
mangyaring makipag-ugnayan kayo sa opisina para sa mga paglilinaw at mga katanungan. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa itaimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhos mo ang iyong bindisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan na nagpapaalaala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin. Upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal, gamit ang mga ito, ay magtamo ng iyong awat biyaya. Luobin mong tulala nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Pigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw, at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala, para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasa langit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso, at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpas sa walang hanggan. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpas sa walang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is now ended. You may go in peace. Puso ko'y nagpupuri, nagpupuri sa Panginoon. Nagagalak ang aking Espiritu sa aking tagapagligtas.